turning now to a, a really odd development on the campaign trail at a time when Democrats are accusing FBI Director James Comey of having a double standard when it comes to handling cases involving Clinton versus cases involving Donald Trump, and when Democrats are accusing the career lawman of, of poisoning the well. Today, an FBI Twitter account has been criticized for tweeting out documents related to previous investigations involving the Clintons. Hours ago, the Twitter handle FBI Records Vault posted a link to files from the Bureau's investigation into Mark Rich, that Wall Street trader controversially pardoned by President Bill Clinton on his way out the door in 2001. Let's get to CNN justice correspondent Pamela Brown. Pamela, has the FBI explained why this account is doing this now. Not on the record yet, Jake. I can tell you right now FBI officials are, are trying to come up with a statement to explain this given the context of everything. This tweet from the FBI's records account uh, on Twitter today from his 2001 investigation into President Clinton's pardons and his foundation really came out of nowhere and had a lot of people scratching their heads. The timing just days after Director Comey notified Congress about the renewed Clinton email investigation is only fanning the flames. Amid calls for Director James Comey to provide more information on the investigation into Clinton aide Huma Abedin's emails, CNN has learned he will not speak about specifics on the investigation until it's complete. Right now, FBI agents are working to separate the emails relevant to the case and determine whether any of them contain classified information. We're not going to get through that process by next Tuesday. Uh, that's something that's going to take uh, weeks, possibly months, depending if there's a, a large uh, number of emails and various agencies that they then have to talk to. Meantime, CNN has learned the FBI has been conducting multiple investigations into allegations of connections between Russia and the Trump campaign, including his former campaign manager's ties to pro-Putin forces in Ukraine and Trump supporter Roger Stone's possible role in Clinton campaign chairman's hacked emails released by WikiLeaks. This is what Stone recently told NBC. I have a back channel. Uh, communications with WikiLeaks, uh, but they certainly don't clear or tell me in advance what they're going to do. Today, Clinton's campaign manager is crying foul, saying Comey, a Republican, is cherry picking which investigations he makes public. James Comey opened this door and we're just asking for him to make this right and treat everybody the same. The campaign is calling on Comey to release information on the investigations into Donald Trump's campaign and alleged ties to Russia. Amid reports, Comey argued against publicly tying Russia to hacks of the Clinton campaign so close to the election. CNN sources say Comey's decision not wanting to name Russia had nothing to do with the election. They don't say a thing when it comes to Donald Trump and investigations against him. Yet when it comes to Hillary Clinton, for some reason, they are more than happy to talk. Today, Republicans are hitting back against the Clinton campaign's claims of a double standard, saying it's a false equivalence. He did tell Congress in July that the investigation had been completed and he had determined that she didn't have specific intent to commit a crime. So I think he felt the need to supplement the record. And the Clinton campaign today quickly pounced after those documents were released on the FBI's Twitter account from that 2001 investigation with Clinton spokesman Brian Fallon uh, tweeting, absent a FOIA litigation deadline, this is odd. Will FBI be posting docs on Trump's housing discrimination in the 70s? And an FBI official I spoke to says today's release is not about um, politics. It's really about policy here with one official saying topics of general interest and freedom of information act requests automatically go to the FBI's vault when they're ready for public consumption in the order when they were received. Holding it for release later will require overt action, but I can tell you, Jake, the FBI trying to figure out how to respond to this. And, and we should point out, Pam, it's not just Clinton related documents this account is tweeting out the FBI records vault Twitter handle also posted something about Donald Trump's father Fred right so this is odd if you look at the Twitter account from the FBI uh, vault account it, it was dormant basically for a year and then the first tweet was right here uh, over the weekend about um, Fred Trump, Donald Trump's father, an investigation into him several years ago uh, when the FBI looked into campaign donations and a hint of concern about organized crime. It didn't go anywhere, but it's just odd, Jake, that after a year of not posting anything, this would come up. And then today we have these documents from the 2001 investigation, again, waiting to hear from the FBI about an explanation as to why all this is. All right, Pamela Brown, thank you so much.